After the RealPower software has been installed and the instrument has been connected to the USB port, it's time to launch the software. To do this, double click on the RealPower icon on the desktop. This will bring up the RealPower sign on banner followed by the menu selection screen. Depending on what instrument you have connected to the computer, click on the appropriate menu selection. For this example, we'll click on the solar panel interface. This will bring up the screen for the solar panel interface. The next thing to do is locate the connect icon at the bottom left of the screen. The program will start out unconnected to the USB port, which must be done before any data can appear on the screen. To do this, left click on the small arrow next to the number 3. This is normally the default port number however if another higher number appears click on it to select it. This is the USB port number that your instrument is using to communicate with the program. Then click on the connect icon right below the number. You should hear an audible click to tell you that the program has connected to the instrument. At this point you should see a red line begin to creep across the bottom of the plot area. This means that the program is receiving data from the instrument and that you're ready to receive real-time data. The large grid area is where the electrical data is plotted. The green line is voltage. The blue line is current. The red line is power. And the black line is resistance. You can adjust the scale of the horizontal and vertical axis by clicking on the arrow keys. The up and down arrow keys control the vertical axis. Clicking the up arrow doubles the vertical scale readings. And clicking the down arrow halves the readings. Use the up and down arrow keys when you want to examine the plot lines in more detail or when you want to see all the plot lines on one screen. The left and right arrow keys control the horizontal or time axis. Clicking the left arrow key halves the amount of time in the plot area. And clicking the right arrow key doubles the amount of time. Notice that the time scale is the actual time. Clicking the double arrow key clears the screen and starts the plotting all over again. Click the double arrow key when you want to clear the screen and start a new plot. There are four meters that display voltage, current, power, and resistance. Their colors match the plot lines for the same electrical signals. By color coding the plot lines and meter value displays, it's easy to follow the signals you're interested in. Green is voltage, blue is current, red is power, and black is resistance. The numbers follow the plot lines in real time as the electrical signals vary. One of the features of the RealPower software is the ability to declutter the plot area by selectively turning off plot lines. This makes the other plot lines more visible and makes it easier to see one or two plot lines by themselves. To show how this is done, simply move the cursor to one of the four switches beneath the meters and click on it. We'll choose the one below the voltage meter to start. 
Left click on the switch icon and notice that the green voltage plot line stops while the other plot lines continue. Now click on the blue current plot line to see it stop. Now only the red and black lines are being plotted. Next click on the red power plot line. And finally the black resistance plot line. Notice that the meters still react to the incoming electrical data even when the plot lines are off. To reverse the settings, simply click on the switches again to see the plot lines resume. You can record your experiments for later analysis in a spreadsheet program like Excel. To start recording data, click on the disk icon. It will change from a darker blue to a lighter blue while data is being recorded. When you're done recording data, click it again. This will stop the recording. To see what you've recorded, Click the eye icon. A list of the recorded data will appear over the plot area. This data is stored in the text file as comma separated variables or CSV which is compatible with Excel. The recorded data is stored on your hard disk under My Documents real power solar panel interface log dot text. Just open the file with notepad and use it to import the data to Excel. To erase the recorded file click on the erase icon. This will erase all recorded data so that you can start a new recording session anytime. A great feature of RealPower software is screen capture. With it you can capture a snapshot of the entire screen at any time. First position the cursor above the screen capture icon. When you're ready, click it. The image is stored to hard disk as a JPG file. The name of the file has the date and time on it so you can quickly identify it. We'll show you how to find the file in a moment. You can take successive screenshots as the data changes and each snapshot is stored in a separate file. To view your current snapshots, click on the screen view icon. The last snapshot will appear over the plot area. You can view the previous snapshots by clicking on the small left right arrow keys. You can see the file name for the snapshot at the bottom left of the screen. To locate the JPEG snapshot files, go to My Documents, Real Power, and locate the snapshot JPEG. Here you can select any of the screen capture snapshots and copy them to include in reports. This winds up our tour of the RealPower software. So I hope you enjoyed it and happy plotting!